let's talk processors. We ask a lot of the processors in our laptops, whether we're playing games, or running Photoshop, or just browsing the web in a dozen different sites while listening to music and chatting with our friends. We want to do everything, and we want to do it all at once. And we don't want to do it while looking for power. That's why a lot of people have turned to tablets and smartphones lately. The ARM chips in those devices last forever. They let us do a lot of things. But Intel's catching up with a new breed of processors and the latest laptops that offer all-day battery life with the same kind of performance you can expect from the last generation and a fruity finish that I think you'll find delightful. The new version of Intel's chips, the Core i5s and i7s you'll probably find inside your laptop, are called Haswell. The name doesn't mean anything, but the implications are huge. Intel's promising major performance increases, better graphics performance for gaming and watching movies, and most of all, better battery life. Much, much better battery life. There's a lot of complex engineering behind it, but the short version is that the power system of the chip is now better integrated, which lets Haswell chips ramp up and cool down much more quickly. There are many different Haswell chips, each with a different flavor profile and character that enhances different activities in different ways. There's the ultra-low power Y-series chip, and then there's the high-end graphics chips, the Iris cards, that'll let you play games on an Ultrabook. That's never even been close to possible before. But here's what that all means. Manufacturers can now build thinner laptops and tablets than ever before, because they don't need to put in as much battery to get four hours of battery life. They can also build much more powerful machines than ever before, because the graphics performance is so much better. Or they can do what we're already seeing a lot of, drop the new chips into existing models and just watch battery life shoot through the roof. Which brings us to the new 13-inch MacBook Air. Last year's model was already the best all-around laptop on the market, thanks to good hardware, a great keyboard and trackpad, and solid performance. This year's model changes almost nothing, at least on the outside. There are stereo mics on the side instead of just a single mono mic, but that's literally it. On the inside, though, there's Haswell. We tested a 1.3 GHz Core i5 model, which came with a very slight performance decrease over last year's 1.8 GHz model, but I didn't really notice the difference. The story here is the battery life. The new Air lasted 13 hours and 29 minutes in our test, more than double last year's model and well above what Intel says Haswell should offer. 13 hours and 29 minutes is enough battery life to completely change things. This is the first laptop we've ever seen that can legitimately claim to last you all day. The new Air is cheaper than last year's model, starting at just $1099, and it's still the best all-around laptop on the market. But it's also the first of a dramatically new breed of computer, and it means that Intel can finally offer the ability for us to do anything we want on our laptops and do it all day long. Sometimes, the best does get better with age.